In February of 2018, hundreds of KFC restaurants across Europe completely ran out of chicken. This forced KFC restaurants across the country to close. And as a result, thousands of angry customers voiced their angry opinions towards KFC. And the brand was losing an average of $1 million a day. So what did KFC do? How did they calm down all of those angry customers? And how did they even run out of chicken in the first place? To find the answers, we need to travel back five years ago to October of 2017, a time when KFC made one of the most controversial business decisions in its history. That decision was to hire DHL as their new food distributor in Europe. KFC had appointed DHL to manage the supply and distribution of food products, packaging, and consumables for over 900 restaurants throughout the UK. The new partnership aimed to revolutionize the UK food distribution market by putting greater focus on innovation, quality, and service performance. However, this new partnership was met with a good deal of backlash. Firstly, KFC's old distributor, Bidvest had worked with them for decades, but as a result of the switch, Bidvest lost millions of dollars and over 250 people were out of a job. The partnership itself also didn't make sense, as DHL was more known for their home delivery services rather than their knowledge and expertise in the food delivery sector. These initial concerns about the partnership would serve as a perfect example of foreshadowing what was about to happen to KFC. Within only a few weeks of taking over deliveries, DHL's food delivery system was already showing signs of weakness. DHL was struggling to keep up with KFC's orders, as they were only operating out of a single distribution center in Rugby, England. DHL had no chance of keeping up with KFC's rampant demand. And as a result, hundreds of KFC restaurants across Europe were running out of many key ingredients, like salt, pepper, and most importantly, chicken. Slowly but surely, KFC was running out of everything they served. And by February 20th, KFC was forced to close more than half of Europe's 900 locations. This not only led to KFC losing upwards of $1 million a day, but also put hundreds of workers out of jobs. A KFC worker in London went on record saying he had not received any shifts for weeks and that he was actively looking for a new job. DHL's managing director of retail, John Bolter, said the delivery firm regretted the interruption of supply and apologized for the inconvenience and disappointment caused to KFC and their customers. However, this pitiful apology would not help the situation whatsoever. By the next day, all 900 of KFC's restaurants were closed. And even worse, the issue was spreading like wildfire all over the media. The story gained huge news coverage both locally and nationally. On February 21st alone, there was a staggering 53,000 mentions of the chicken shortage on social media. Hashtags such as KFC crisis, chicken crisis, and KFC closed were trending as angry customers continued to be frustrated at their inability to go to KFC. Many customers were filmed gathering outside their local KFCs, wondering when they're going to reopen. And even worse for KFC, these people were filmed live on camera, angrily stating that they're going to spend their money elsewhere at competitors like Burger King and McDonald's. Customers were even going as far as calling their local police stations and complaining about the chicken shortage. This forced the police to announce to the public that the chicken shortage was not a police matter. Megan Farron, KFC's chief marketing officer for the UK, went on record saying that, our business was, to be honest, on its knees. We had 26,000 team members across the UK, and many of them were taking abuse from customers day in and day out. With 900 restaurants closed and more damage to the brand with each passing hour, KFC executives knew they had to act fast before customers fully lost trust in the brand. So they reached out to their marketing agency, Mother, and begged them to come up with a solution to tame the public. Mother's solution was to come up with an effective marketing campaign that would not only inform the public of their situation with DHL, but also rebuild the trust customers had in KFC. They outlined two major objectives for the campaign. The first being a mass apology to all of their frustrated customers, and the second being an explanation of why this happened and what they're going to do to resolve the issue. However, reaching these goals would be no easy task. After doing research, Mother discovered that nearly three quarters of the UK population visit KFC at least once a year, and that a quarter of them eat at a KFC on a weekly or monthly basis. After realizing the sheer amount of people that visited KFC, Mother knew they needed an efficient solution to reach all of them with one ad. They knew that customers would not appreciate a dry, meaningless corporate apology, as the UK general public were no strangers to that kind of message. Instead, they wanted to use humor and down-to-earth honesty to apologize to their customers.
customers. The message needed to be both sincere and not too serious. A tough balance to find while also remaining on brand. They decided they're going to use print media as the medium for their campaign. The reason they selected print as their medium was because it allowed them to reach a large percentage of their customer base and because print as a medium is perceived as more trustworthy when compared to social media. They selected two well-known UK newspapers to run their ad, The Sun and The Metro. With time running out, Mother needed to come up with an effective print ad to solve this massive issue before it was too late. After brainstorming ideas for hours, the result was pure genius. As opposed to using KFC in the apology, they settled on another three-letter word to share the truth in a bold and down-to-earth manner. FCK. Using this anagram was a perfect way to capture how the company felt about the situation. The FCK anagram was clever, straight to the point, and more importantly, it was on brand. Below the anagram was a chunk of text, which offered an apology that was written in everyday conversational language. The apology read, we're sorry, a chicken restaurant without any chicken? It's not ideal. Huge apologies to our customers, especially those who traveled out of their way to find we were closed. And endless thanks to our KFC team members and our franchise partners for working tirelessly to improve the situation. It's been a hell of a week, but we're making progress. And every day, more and more fresh chicken is being delivered to our restaurants. Thank you for bearing with us. So with the newspaper ad ready to go, Mother released it on February 23rd and the result was nothing like KFC was expecting. Readers of the ad could not stop raving about how good it was. Almost instantly, people started to post the apology all over Twitter. KFC's Our Bad ad is brilliant. If KFC's operations team were half as good as their marketing team, the chicken crisis would never have happened. Bravo, KFC. Your full-page ad in the paper today is amazing. What started as a simple print ad in the newspaper would go on to promote 700 press articles and tons of discussion about the ad on television. This in turn gave the KFC ad an estimated reach of 797 million people. On top of that, 219 million social media users were exposed to the KFC ad. So in total, over 1 billion people were exposed to the ad within just a few months of the release date. By the fourth day of the campaign, KFC managed to regain its loyal customers and its strong brand image. They managed to avoid any long-term impacts on the brand, with metrics such as purchase intent being left unaffected. KFC went on to reestablish its partnership with Bidvest and managed to get operations back to normal in the weeks following the campaign. The KFC ad would go on to win multiple marketing awards in 2018. And to this day, it is praised as being one of the best examples of corporate crisis management in all of marketing history.